Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the local maximum and local minimum of a given function using both the first and the second derivative test. So f of x is given as x power 4 minus 4x cube. First we have to find f dash of x which is nothing but 4x cube minus 12x square and we have to equate to 0. We have to take 4x square common which will become x minus 3 equal to 0. We are taking individual factors to 0 we get two critical values. One is x equal to 0 and other is 3. Now let us take a number line. The number line from minus infinity to plus infinity and we will plot the critical values 0 and 3. So we get 3 intervals. We have to make a box where the first column is intervals then sign of f dash of x and f dash of x we have to copy the term which we equated to 0 which is 4x square into x minus 3 then nature whether it is increasing or decreasing. Now the first interval from the number line is minus infinity comma 0 the second interval from 0 to 3 then 3 comma infinity. Now we have to fill this box. From this first interval let us take a value minus 1 and the second interval let us take a simple value 1 and in the third interval let us take 4 and let us find the value here f dash of minus 1. This term is square so it is going to be positive and if I put minus 1 here minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 so which is negative. Totally this is negative. It means the function is decreasing. Similarly f dash of 1. So the first term will become positive anyway because x square and this is a positive number and 1 minus 3 this is also negative. So totally plus into minus will give us minus and function is decreasing. And here f dash of 4 when we take the first term is positive and second term 4 minus 3 which is 1 that is also positive. So we get positive it means function is increasing. So here it is keep on decreasing then from 3 onwards it start increasing. It means it attains the local minimum at 3. So it attains local minimum at x is equal to 3. If you want the minimum value we have to substitute 3 in f of x. So we have to substitute 3 in f of x. So here we have to substitute x power 4 minus 4x cube. So 3 power 4 minus 4x power 3. So 3 power 4 minus 4, 3 power 3. Totally 3 power 4 is 81 minus 3 cube is 27. 27 into 4 is 108. After subtraction we get minus 27. So, minus 27 is the local minimum value. So, local minimum value equal to minus 27 and there is no local local maximum. Maximum occurs when the function keep on increasing then after that start decreasing but here we have only decreasing then increasing so from this we get only local minimum and we don't have local maximum so we have found the local minimum value using the first derivative test now let's proceed with the second derivative test for that we have to find the second derivative so once again we will proceed from the beginning we have f of x is equal to x power 4 minus 4 x cube so let us copy the function here. Now let us take f dash of x which is nothing but 4 x power 3 minus 12 
x square and f double dash of x equal to 12 x square minus 24 x. Anyway, by equating to the 0, we get two critical values 0 and 3. x values are 0 and 3. Now let's find f double dash of 0, we get 12 into 0 square minus 24 into 0, totally we get 0. And f double dash of 3 will give us 12 into 3 square minus 24 into 3. So 3 square is 9, 12 into 9, 108 minus this is 72 and we get totally 36. So, this is greater than 0, therefore, it is minimum according to the condition. It is minimum at x equal to 3 and minimum value is going to be same, which is nothing but f of 3 and already we got minus 27. And since second derivative at the point 0, the value 0, there is no local maximum. So, in the second derivative test, the condition which we use is, if f double dash of x is less than 0, then f is maximum. If f double dash of x is greater than 0, then f is minimum. So, for the given f of x, we found its local minimum using both first derivative and second derivative test.